A tarp is only your outer layer and you need to combine it with something inside that fits the circumstances. Could be just a ground sheet, could be a bug bivy, could be a full bivy bag or a full bug inner. If you do that, a full inner with a tarp on top, what you get is a lot more like a backpacking tent. It's double walled, it's a little bit heavier of course. Full bug inners come in pyramid shapes like this one, A-frame shapes or box shapes. And so the people of DD Hammocks have very kindly sent me this pyramid bug tent for demonstration purposes. I don't really get what people see in unboxing videos. So let's look at the, some of the options that this bug inner has and that you could look for when you select one for yourself. And they sent me the XL version, which is a good thing because I would look rather silly with my long legs in a shorter one. Um, and what puts this apart from the competition is its size. It's 2 meter 40 long. That's quite rare in uh, bug inners. Um, and there's a, there's a hole in the bottom that your trekking pole tip goes through. Handy. Except maybe not very well executed because it tore. Here on top is a toggle and a loop that you could hang the bug net from. There's also a fortified pocket that you can use to put a pole underneath and prop it up. There is a waterproof floor, a bug net top and loops to stake your bug net down. This specific model has one U-shaped zipper to enter and exit and it is on the long side of the shelter. And you will find some extra toggle and loops on the sides. And these features, like the hang loops on the outside, increase the pitching options that you have. For this specific bug inner however, there are two elements that decrease the amount of uh, pitches that you can do with this one. One is it's a very high peak height and the other one is the fact that the opening is on the long side and not on the short side. Setting up tarp with a bug inner is both easier and more difficult than without a bug inner. If you set up without a bug inner, so you set up a tarp with only a ground sheet or a baby bag, um, your goal is very simple. You take a Papa Hiker shaped rectangle, cover it at least uh, 30 centimeters above the ground with a decent tarp pitch. That's it. With a full inner, you have a much larger area and a much higher peak height to cover, which limits your pitching options tremendously. What makes it easier is that a bug inner in itself is very easy to set up and it's easy to do it exactly where you want it to be. And then when you have this reference point, you can work from there. And throw your tarp over top. You're kind of thinking, if you had a shaped pyramid tarp with a zipper here in front, that would be the ultimate combination with this inner. Guess what? That's actually what it was made for. Check the link in the video description to find that specific tarp. What is my opinion on the combination of a full bug inner and a flat tarp? First, it's good to realize that a shaped tarp, like a pyramid shelter, a floorless pyramid, in combination with a bug inner that was specifically made for it can only be set up in one way but that might still be a very good option for you so if you have a bug inner and a tarp and you only you you try as you might but you only get to work out one viable option then that is actually what you get and that is the case here with me this is a pretty big bug inner um, and this is a 3 by 3 meter or 10 by 10 foot tarp 
I have worked out one very good and very solid option to use them together, but it's the only one I have. Um, that still might not be a bad thing, because it's a good option. And you have the added benefit that if you use your tarp without the inner, um, you still have a quazillion ways to put it up. See my YouTube channel. If you're thinking, I do want to use a full bug inner with my tarp, but I want to have more pitching options, because that is what attracts me in tarp camping, and that is attractive in tarp camping, then I suggest you get an A-frame style bug bivy with a relatively low peak height, because that will give you much, much more options, like lean-tos, like arrowheads, A-frame, modified A-frame, etc. That said, my wonderful wife was very pleased to use this bug inner in combination with our very large DDXL tarp. Um, she loved the enclosedness, um, she liked the fact that it was large and had a very big opening on the side. Um, also, we used the hang loops that are inside to store some stuff. Excellent, of course, if you can make it work. Thanks for watching, Papa Hiker.